What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my Platinum Walkthrough for Revel. The game is a really good psychological horror game. To unlock the Platinum we need to complete the game, we need to complete the last chapter a few times to get all the endings and we need to find all the collectibles. No worries, nothing is missable because there is chapter select. If you're looking for a specific chapter or collectible, check out the timestamps, they can be found in the video description and in the comment section below. This walkthrough is with commentary so it should be easy to follow. Once the game starts, just keep going straight and you will end up in a cutscene. This part is pretty straightforward, so I will be back once we are back in our house. strange dream my head hurts so once you gain control of a character look to the right and interact with the pills keep in mind in this game you need to press the square button to interact with some stuff this should Now turn left, go down the stairs and left again. Check the table on your right, pick up the ring, which is the first collectible. Always forgets to put it on. Now pick up the figurine and now interact with the music box on the right. Open the music box, put the figurine and interact with the key on the left. So now we can pick up another key, pick up the key, turn around and open the door. The key. Why was it in here? I should look for Martha and Dory. Now follow the way till you reach the living room. It's possible to run in the game by pressing the left stick. So go left, check the small table with the lamp on it to find another collectible. This was the first show they did so now turn around, go left and downstairs. Go right and pick up collectible number 3. Now turn around, go through the door to your left. Dory. Check the shelf on the left, there is another collectible. Dory, is that you? I stopped counting how many times she forgot. Now check the desk on the right. There is a box, interact with it to open it. Now pick up the coin. I think this coin was for the old machine. Now turn around, interact with the marble machine. I took it home First the insert the coin. It's old, but I'm fond of it. Now look down and pull the lever. This should work. Now look up again and on the right you can start it.
Now pick up a marble, turn around, go back to the desk, there is another minigame. Interact with this game and complete it to get the trophy. So now pick up the teeth, turn around and interact with the clown head. I think it's supposed to look creepy, but Dory and I love clowns. Now check the front of his face and use the teeth on it. Now you can interact with the teeth, you need to interact with the second teeth on the left side. Now pick up the giraffe, is a key. How clever. now go back, look left and interact with the book. Drawing book. Use the giraffe to open the book and what? then look through all the pages. Now look right, there will be a new path, so now it's basically pretty straightforward, just follow the path till you reach a circus. Wait, this can't be. This is right by the lake near the circus. Dory? Is that you? Dory and I come out here all the time. Mommy! Daddy! I found a really, really big fly. <laughs> Sweetie, that's called a dragonfly. Oh, be careful. They can breathe fire. <laughs> Don't be silly, Walter. You'll scare her. Dory, what are you doing out here? Wait for me. I'm not that fast. There's the train we use to travel. Nowadays, the circus just stays here. Feels like ages since I've been here, but at the same time, like yesterday. So once we're at the circus, go towards to the cash register. Interact with it and pick up the coins. I think this should be enough for a few rounds. Now go to the left to find another collectible. This almost looks like the train. Now look up and go through the opening in front of you. Go into the tent. On the left you can find another collectible. Martha prepares here for the show. That's Martha's blind. Boy. And on the opposite side, you can find another collectible. Are these mine? So now to your left, there are some switches. Well, interact with it. First, now. interact with switch number four. Now, switch seven. Now, switch two. Now interact with switch number 5 and now switch number 3. Got it. I am Sohan. I can see your future. Come see it too. I 
So once you ask for a coin, give him one. Really helpful, Zohan. Now look down and pick up the fortune card. The future has in store for me. Maybe it helps to believe in it. So now go back to the cash register. Behind the cash register is an arcade machine. Interact with it and try to get a score of 1000. Let's get this on the first try. Come on. Once you reach 1000 points, you can end the game. Now, with this coin, you can open the rewarding door on the right. Next part is pretty straightforward, just follow the path. There are some moving platforms on the floor, just stand on one of it for 10 seconds to unlock another trophy. The upcoming part is very, very straightforward. There's basically only one way. To your right, there is another collectible. Pick it up and then follow the path. Dory, I'm serious. That's enough. Oh, 
Where did she go? Wait, where did I go? Please wait, Dory. In this room there is a toy train on the floor. First interact with the toy train and follow it. After a minute or so you will end up in front of a door. But before going through the door be sure that you pick up the toy train because this is the last collectible in chapter 1. Fine, fine, I'll play along. Where are we going next? So now there is another pretty straightforward part, just follow the path. Wait! Dory! This must be a new addition to the funhouse. But why does it seem so familiar? So in the next part of the game we need to decide through which door we go. Do not go through the wrong one because this will avoid a trophy. In the first room we need to go through the door on the left side. Wait till you finish speaking and then go through the left door with the circus sign. This sounds like Martha and me. Second room Simply go through the door in front of you, which says Dory. A healthy daughter who was their whole world. Where is this story going? Why is it about our family? And in room number three, go through the door on the right side. Growing up, she happily followed in her mother's footsteps. However, their road was not without obstacles. Money was short. Time spent between the three even shorter. And so the road led to an inevitable end. Inevitable? What is that supposed to mean? This isn't true. So keep going down here. After a few seconds, turn around. Now turn around again and follow the path. To open the door in front of you, you need to trigger another jump scare. So turn around and look through the glass on the right. Now the door should be open. In the next part of the game we will be in a mirror maze. 
It can be a bit confusing, but it's basically pretty straightforward. Just make your way through the mirror maze and trigger another three small cutscenes with a child. After that, a new way will open. It's probably a way easier doing this by your own instead of following the video. Stop running away. So once you made it out of the maze, the next part is also very straightforward, just follow the path. future you seek, maybe the path before you can lead you to your past. Will you follow, even if it means certain doom for you? Again, go and seek the truth. Oh, I must be dreaming. I don't understand any of this.
Please, let me wake up. I need to get something for these headaches. Oh, what a fucked up dream. So guys, we're in chapter 2. Look left and on the desk there is the figure. Pick it up and use it on the music box. Before using the music box, pick up the collectible which is right here. Now interact with the music box to get a key. So pick up the key, go through the door behind you. Oh, what time is it? Well, I should check on Martha and Dory. Make your way to the living room. Feels off. Now go right and immediately left down the stairs. Behind the shelf in front of you there is another collectible. I bought this for her after her first show. Now go back upstairs. Go left. Martha's probably upstairs painting. What is going on? So now check the bath tube and after a few seconds you can find your pills. Interact with the pills to trigger another jump scare. So now leave this room, go upstairs. Oh, the stairs are all wrong. Martha, are you in here? Now go left and interact with the eye. In the next part of the game, we need to find three items. There is an enemy walking around, and we need to find all three items without getting caught. If you get caught, it's not a big deal, you can clean up the trophy later via chapter select. Oh, what is this? Where is this? this so now go right and under the stairs there is another collectible. I just wish Dory had more time. Now go upstairs to find another collectible. Okay. This gets weirder and weirder. Huh. Am I supposed to go? Through the looking glass? I think she drew this shortly. So now we need to go through the red opening to find the first item. Be careful an enemy is walking around. Press triangle to sneak. Usually the enemy is always going the same path. On the first item she will go left behind the stairs. So be sure that you crouch and wait here. Now you can start moving slowly down. 
Now immediately go right, check the table to find the first item and then make your way back to the altar. Now I can put your first item here. Once done, we need to go back upstairs and through the red opening again to find the second item. Yeah, when she was painting, she was in her own world. It was hard to get through to her. Well, something happened. But I probably need more than that. So simply wait here till she moves to the right and then slowly go down. Turn left through the opening on the table you can find the second item, pick it up and then make your way back. So only one more item left, so go back to the red room. What did I want to talk to her about? There. Ah, the room changed again. I should find the last one. Start crouching and go downstairs. Go right and slowly go behind her. The third item will be on this small table, you can grab it from far away. Now make your way back. So in case you made it without getting caught you get the trophy, but if you get caught you also get the trophy. So anyway after completing the game we have to come back here. Now turn around and go right through the opening. So we are back at our house, first interact with the music box to get the key. Crazy dream finally over? Huh, this figure is already placed in there. Ah, now make your way to the living room. Supposed to be happy? Go right, left, downstairs, and through the door on your right. Now go through another door, and now we are in the kitchen. So go left and open the fridge to find the key. Now pick up the key, turn around to find a light bulb, which is another collectible. <laughs> this 
is what happens. Now go up the stairs in front of you. Go through the door. Enter the room and go left into the corner. There is a big box, interact with the lock, enter the combination and then pick up the sword. Got it. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is a prop I took home a few years ago. I modified it with a secret. Now turn around. Go around the corner here to find another collectible. Now go back where we picked up the sword. And now interact with the desk. Now interact with the sword a few times and you will end up in a train. Oh, there's something inside. Sick contract is this? Why don't I remember this? And how the heck is my signature on it? I would never have signed something like this. Martha, I can't believe she would go this far. This is gonna ruin the rest of Dory's childhood. So look left and go straight forward. So after the loading screen, go back where you started. And now behind the desk there is another collectible. So now go to the opposite direction, next part is pretty straightforward, just follow the path. So now open the third door on the right to get another collectible. Now check the bed on the left to find the collectible. Now leave this room and simply continue going through the train. So in this train we can find the last collectible, it's on the right side, it's a chess piece. So now keep going forward. So in the next part of the game you will be get chased by a mannequin. You need to be quick but if you die it's not a big deal because there is a checkpoint. So immediately turn around and run all the way back. Once you go through this door, turn around and close the door. 
Now turn around, open the door to your right, this will save us a bit of time, but keep running back. So now run all the way back where we opened the door before. Now pick up the item and run all the way back to the brake mechanism. Use the lever on it and pull it all the way to the right. So next part pretty straightforward, just go back and follow the path. from this awful circus. I have to save Dory from her. In this part of the game you can interact with valves and levers, but no matter how many levers or valves you interact with, you will definitely end up in an explosion. So basically you can't do anything wrong here. So we are still in the second chapter, pretty straightforward, next part just follow the path.
So now we're in chapter 3. This one is a very short chapter. As soon as you gain control of a character, turn right to find the first collectible. This is my screwdriver. Now enter the circus wagon. This is the circus. Go all the way to the end and interact yes. with the red button. I I need to get there. This is what the great a Zohan sees here. in your oh, future. Here is Zohan again. Tonight. I wonder what he sees in my future. It is the best time to achieve your goals. Now look down, pick up the tarot card, which is the second collectible. Now leave this place and follow the path, and eventually you will end up in a cutscene. The next collectible is really hard to see, so once the cutscene starts, turn right here and basically the collectible is hiding in the grass. So after the cutscene, crouch down here and check the grass and there it is. As you can see, it's almost impossible to see. So once you have the collectible, just follow the path till you reach the circus. First go left. Everything is so surreal. Check the bench in front of you to find another collectible. What is that? Now immediately turn left to find another collectible. Now turn right and enter the circus. Go right through the opening, left through the door. Next part, pretty straightforward, there's only one way you can go. Now pick up the item from the working bench, which is the last collectible in chapter 3. Next part of the game, very straightforward, just follow the video and you will end up in chapter 4. Child away. Dory, 
No! So guys, now we're in chapter 4, this is another very short one. But we need to complete the entire chapter without getting caught. But it's basically pretty easy. Fortunately, it's another very short chapter. So once the game starts, pick up the flashlight in front of you. In case you get caught in this chapter, no worries, you can clean up the trophy via chapter select. Martha, why would I do this to you? to be another way I picked the worst possible one why oh, how could I believe this would help you in any way oh, I am so sorry but what now I need to find a way out of here oh I can't see a thing is that a flashlight there Seems like something has to be put in there. Oh God. Now turn around and go straight. Be careful, there are some bells. So try to not run into some bells. So use crouch to get through them. Now keep running up the hill, but be careful, there will be some more bells. So run up the hill and enter the tent in front of you. What's the tent doing? So pick up the orb from the table, we need 3 of them to finish the chapter. Now go around the table to find another collectible. Now turn around and behind you there is another collectible. Some kind of crossword puzzle? So now you can leave the tent. Try to keep going straight, so go through the opening and then go always straight. Be careful, the enemy is walking around. Eventually you should reach a bridge, cross the bridge and you can find another collectible right here. Uh, I still bought every now turn around and cross the bridge again. Go left, follow the river. Now go slightly right, now straight up the hill. For some reason there will be a desk in the middle of the woods. Check the drawer to find another collectible. So now go the same way back you came from. Follow the river and then cross the bridge. Go right, then you will reach a shelf. Now go left, there is a sign, go straight, be careful, more bells, and now enter the gas station. Now go behind the counter and pick up orb number two. And on the right there is another collectible. So now you can leave the gas station. Be careful, usually the enemy is now outside. So leave the station and go right. Watch out, there are some more bells. Crouch through it and then go straight. So to your right there is now an opening, be careful, some more bells, crouch through it. On the left side at the entrance there is the last collectible, it's hard to see, but first go into the room to avoid getting caught. So check the bed to find orb number 3. So pick up the orb and go back to the entrance. 
Be careful because the enemy will be outside, so the last collectible is right here. It's a bit hard to see, but it's right there. Now look left, probably you need to wait till the enemy leaves this place. Go straight and cross the bridge. Basically all you have to do now is you have to go back where we started the chapter. Now interact with the strange thing in front of you and use all three orbs. The upcoming part of the game is very very straightforward, so just follow the video. Sorry.
So guys, we're in chapter 5, which is the last chapter. This time you don't need to interact with anything, just make your way to the living room. Back in our house? Oh, am I finally awake? Oh, is that a camera? Why are there cameras in our house? Who's watching? Oh, this room is a mess. What happened here? What is that noise? Okay, this time the rooms are a bit different, but it's basically pretty straightforward. Just follow the video. Because there's only one way and you can't get lost. something like this I don't know what's going on I just want to get out of here the train So guys, as you can see, this part was very easy and straightforward. So in the next part, go through the door in front of you. Now go left, left again, you need to use crouch. Now go straight forward and on the left you can find a desk with another collectible. Now go around the desk and interact with the monitor. Now click on facility door. Now back out, turn around and go through the red double doors. Go right through the door in front of you. Now go left. Now go through the double doors and then into the reception. Interact with the monitor. Now open the department and leave the reception. Oh God. I think he's dead. 
Now go through the second door on the right. Interact with the monitor on the left. Click left on the door controls. Now unlock the department Wait, and the clearance. Subject 7 was also on the screen in front of my house. But it says Liam. Now go back where he came from. Go straight through the opening in front of you. Now in this room there is another collectible, pick it up. After picking up the fancy pan, look left and interact with the monitor. Click on door controls, unlock the department and the clearance and then go back where we came from. Now go slightly right through this new opening. Go all the way to the end of this room. Turn left, check the desk for another collectible. Now interact with the monitor, select door controls and unlock the clearance. So now back out. Now it's very important that you pick up this disc here. This is very important for an ending. So pick up this memory disc and then go back where we came from. Now go right through the double doors. Next part pretty straightforward, just follow the video. Now go towards to the fridge, open this cabinet and pick up the battery. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. battery. Now turn right, check the table, there is another battery. And now interact with the red puzzle box two times. Now simply follow the video to solve the puzzle box, this will reward you with the golden ticket. Too hard for me. Well, that sounded like something happened. A translucent disc with some kind of symbol in the middle. And there's a strange key hidden in there.
Well, that sounded like something happened. Something came out of the cube. It's ringing. Hm. Must be a hint. Now turn around, leave this room through the door. Next part, pretty straightforward. Just follow the video. What am I even doing? I should just look for another job. What am I even doing? It's probably some kind of scam, right? Maybe I'll find something in that back alley. Oh, is that a phone ringing? That must be it. So now you need to interact with the telephone. A phone booth? That's new. What now, Leo? You need to call 7, 1 and 8. So start with 7. seven. Now click on number one. 1. And now number 8. This will open a secret door. Easy. Okay. So go through the new opening, enter the elevator. Upcoming part, pretty straightforward, just follow the video. One last test. Okay. So leave the room, immediately go right, follow the path. That was my life? I can't believe this. Dory, Martha, you're not real. To your left there is another collectible. Just another puzzle to look. Next part, another pretty straightforward one, just follow the video. So now go left, down the stairs, 
left through the door. And now check the table on the left, there is the last collectible. So now we need to restore the power. To restore the power we need this item here. I tried to pick it up first but it's not possible so we have to go back to the power room. So go through this door. Now go all the way to the end and interact with the second fuse. Now go back to the previous room. Now I just need to find a replacement. Now pick up the power fuse. Mm, this one seems broken. This now go back to the previous room. and put in the power fuse. Oh, perfect. So now leave the room. Go left upstairs. Now interact with this monitor to restore the power. Now go left downstairs. Go towards to the desk and pick up the note. Sinister. Is this where they messed with my head? Please remember the previous steps because we need to do this a few more times to get all the endings. So we have to restore the power, we have to read the note and then we get the keycard. Even if we use chapter select we always have to do these steps. Unfortunately which is a bit annoying. So after you read through the text you can press the circle button to leave and then you will get a key card. So now turn around and make your way back to the control center. So now to your left there is a desk. First pick up this one and replace it with the other one you have in your inventory. This is very important for the ending. So replace it with the gray disk. Now read the note to your right to get the password and then interact with the monitor. Now click on select subject and select number 7. Subject now click on setup and then it's important that you remember this, the required fluid. So now we need to solve a bunch of minigames and puzzles. So go downstairs here. On the desk there are some different fluids. Be sure to pick up the one which was seen on the monitor. It doesn't really matter in which order you to complete all the puzzles and minigames, but basically this is the first one, just turn on all the switches. All the upcoming puzzles and minigames are very straightforward and easy. So just follow the video to complete all these minigames and puzzles. Oh, 
It's getting worse. Oh. Looks like you can insert the oh. Oh, I really think I need to hurry. Oh. Please let this fucking work. Oh. So once you have finished all the minigames, go back to the control room. Now interact with the monitor and start the process. Now go downstairs and towards to this big machine. Now interact with the thing and after a cutscene and a few more dialogue you will end up with the first ending. In this part just look around and sooner or later the game will end. Visiting my grandparents was always a joy. Now it's my turn to share that with my grandkids. This is what life is all about. Subject 7 has been secured. Ah, uh, good. Prepare for transport immediately. Investigate what happened in here. And then, designate this facility for cleanup. Yes, sir. So guys, after the credits, you will find yourself back at the main menu. Before we going through the other endings, 
we need to do some quick trophy cleanup. So if you made it through the second chapter without getting caught, you still need the trophy kissed Martha. So start chapter 2, the studio. Once you're in the game, interact with the altar, then go into the red room and run into the enemy to get the trophy kissed Martha. Is this? I have this strange feeling that something's missing here. Okay. This gets weirder and weirder. Huh. Am I supposed to go through the looking glass? Martha? She's blindfolded. Oh, God. <gasps> ah! oh. Calm down, Walter. It was just a dream. So now we can work on the other ending. Select chapter select, chapter 5, the machine. So you will start in the control room. First thing is you need to restore the power and then you need to read through the note to get the keycard. I will do a small edit here because usually you should already know what to do. So once you get the keycard, go back to the control room. This time do not change the disk, interact with the node on the right to get the password and then interact with the monitor. What am I doing here? Select subject number seven. 7, now click on setup. Be sure to remember this, because we need it for a minigame. Now go back downstairs and now you basically have to play through another puzzles and minigames. This time there will be a few new ones, but they are all very easy, so just follow the video and complete all the minigames and puzzles. So basically for this ending the only difference is we do not change the disc. I'm not sure I know what to do here. Let this fucking work. Oh.
this time my head will keep the bad memories away for longer. Is this the machine? There's nothing left here for me. I just want to forget everything again. I just want one more moment where I think everything is fine. time is it? Oh, I should check if Martha and Dory are still up. Ah! No, 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 no! So guys, next ending, select, chapter select, chapter 5, the machine. Same game again, restore the power and get the key card. I will do a small edit here. So pick up the key card, go back to the control room. Now immediately turn left, pick up this disc. D and, printing. and now replace this disc with the new one. It's the yellow one, so click on the yellow one. Now interact with the node and then with the monitor. So basically now you have to do the same thing as in the previous endings. The only big difference was we had to change this disk. Subject seven. What now? I think I need to set up these modules. Not sure I know what to do here. Oh, God, this is oh, this is bad. Oh. A quick note to this puzzle, to use the switches you have to press and hold the square button and then you need to press the left stick.
Please let this fucking work. Oh. So, this will leave only my original memory intact? I guess I've got nothing left to lose. Is this the machine? I'm so sorry, Martha and Dory. You may not be real, but I am. I'm not sure why, but I want my own life back. This part is a bit different, but basically you just have to go left through the double doors by using the keycard and then go upstairs to finish the game. Oh, <laughs> it feels weird. I know I just removed the fake memories, but I can't remember anything about them. But what now? Oh, I still killed all these people. too much to ask but I won't make it easy for them again so the next ending is less annoying chapter select the machine same game as before restore the power and get the key card some more edit here This time go towards to the door with the green exit light. Now to open the door you need to interact with the key reader a few times. So keep interacting with the key reader and after a few tries he will finally open the door. solve this I, I can't fix this if I stay they just lock me up again well if I leave now that's it for me oh, oh I need to get rid of the fake memories oh my head feels like it's gonna explode I must use the machine to fix my head or I'll die oh, fuck this 
I'm not using this damn machine, even if it kills me. too much to ask but I won't make it easy for them again oh so guys time for the last ending chapter select chapter 5 the machine restore the power get the key card small edit here this ending is very easy just turn around, lay down and wait for around 5 minutes. You will end up dying by head age and this will unlock the last ending. This really takes 5 minutes so I have made another edit here. After this ending you should unlock the platinum. If you still have any collectible or trophy left, just use chapter select. So guys that's it, I hope you found this video useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.